Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Aaron from MyFastPC, your host, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Gmail account. Let's take a look. Hey guys, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of how-tos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. So creating an email from Gmail is actually a very straightforward, straightforward process, and the process is pretty much the same if you go to Yahoo or AOL, most of the free accounts are gonna be in a very similar fashion. So what you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and open up any type of uh, preferred browser, whether it's Safari, Chrome, Firefox, etc., and go on over to gmail.com. It'll take you to this page right here. This says one account, all of Google. At the bottom here, you're gonna to wanna to click on the blue text that says create account. And this is gonna take you to the create your Google account page. Now from here, what we're gonna to want to do is just go through this information that they require and type it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a test email. So we're gonna do J David Jumbo, and then we're gonna do David Jumbo test three. And now you'll notice that as you type in your email address, this may, you may get a little message saying this one is taken. Gmail has been around for quite some time. So you might run into that quite a bit. Just keep trying until you find one that you like that is available um, and then go ahead and proceed with the information. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with that. Now this does uh, want you to do a password, of course. It needs to be at least eight characters long and it should include an uppercase, uh, a number, and then of course a special character like a percent sign or a money sign just to make it a little bit more secure. Uh, people are creatures of habit and they usually like to have one password for everything. That is a very bad idea when it comes to security. So I would highly recommend making a custom or unique password for your email account. And then of course that trickles down to other accounts as well. So I'm gonna type this in again. Uh, these passwords don't match. So if you get the, these passwords do not match, just go through it slower one more time and just make sure that it's uh, filled out the way that you want it. And then of course they want your birth date on here, so we're gonna go ahead and want to put that in there. Oop. Uh, you do have the option to choose what kind of gender you are. You also have the option to rather not say. So you can go ahead and just pick one of those accordingly. And then mobile phone number. This is a very, very, most, this is probably one of the most important pieces of information when it comes to creating a, a any email account really is your mobile phone. A lot of providers have gone over to a mobile phone basis to where if you lock yourself out or you have forgotten your password, they can use your phone, send you a text message with a verification code and you can use that to reset the password. So um, a lot of other people's, they will use a current email address. So if you have like Comcast or Verizon or AT&T, the chances are they have provided you with a uh, internet service provider email. If you have that and you know it and it's active, you can put that in as a secondary recovery option, but I would highly recommend putting in a mobile phone number uh, for, for a primary option. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the next step. I don't wanna put my number in this particular email just because it is a test email. So I'm gonna hit next step. Oh, it says you can't leave this empty. empty. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that. Now you'll come up with a privacy and terms. Just go ahead and you can read that if you'd like to, but you can also scroll down to the bottom and click I agree. And it looks like actually Google does require some kind of uh, phone number to verify your account. So um, I will go ahead and put my phone number in there just so we can get through the process of this. Now you do have the option to send you uh, two different ways for them to send you a code. You can try the SMS or the voice call. Um, I've tried the text messages a few times and it can take up to 15 minutes to get to you. So in this case, I'm going to try the voice call and then hit continue. And then they're gonna ring my phone here. You can say hello on it or not. Uh, most of the time it will be an automated call and they'll provide you with a six digit code. So they'll, t they'll read it to you once and they'll read it to you a second time just to make sure you've got it. Once you've got the six digits and you're confident with it, go ahead and click on, type that in and then hit continue. And then it's gonna take you to your, basically your inbox or the start of it. So it'll say, welcome, whatever your name is, go ahead and click on continue to Gmail. You'll receive a few more pop-ups with some welcome messages. Just go ahead and exit out of those or click through those. And this, like I said, in this case, welcome to Gmail. We can exit out of that. And this is basically the home of your inbox through Gmail. Um, I prefer Gmail just because A, it's a very simplistic form when it comes to the inbox, and B, they have a really good spam filter set up that uh, can help go through and, and uh, decide what's spam and whatnot. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you learned how to create a Gmail today. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below. And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. We do new videos every Thursday. We'll see you next time.